Okay, Vince. They had to call to be the boss. They had to call to be the boss. Oh, sorry. They had to call to be the boss. You could cut her out. This has got a very good plot, unbelievably fantastic characters, and a lot of them, which is quite rare. The way that Guy's directing is very unique. It's um, very colourful, very full of life. He's been obsessed with making sure that there's a credibility to it, that the bad guys really look bad. So the, what he's done is he's stayed clear of some of the, should we say, the trained character actors that we have in Britain and gone for the real McCoy. We've also got acting experience, so we have some real life villains in the film, which I think sort of does make it unique. It's just a very good film. It will be, it'll be a fun, sometimes scary, but totally entertaining hour and a half. You won't feel cheated at the end of it. It'll be worth spending the money going to see this film. A lot of the, the characters that we got in here are infamous and are really known. I'm not really interested in the, the dregs of villainy. I'm interested in, in villains that seem to have some kind of success rate. I buy the villains. Um, and I think people will be hard pushed not to buy them as villains. They are villains. <laughs> if you don't want to be counting the fingers, you haven't got, I suggest you get those guns. Quick! Um, my character, I call, I'm called Ed. Um, and um, it's a story of me and my little gang who all managed to rustle up 25 grand. To, uh, so that I can take a seat at a, a card game where you have to have a hundred grand to play with some big, heavy East End villains. And uh, the game's rigged, so I go from being 150 grand up to being half a million quid down in two hands. And uh, the baddie of the piece says we have a week to pay him back his half a million quid or we lose a finger for each day that we go over that week. This is three card brag, gentlemen. That means three threes are the highest, then three aces, then running down accordingly. Then it's a running flush, a run, a flush, and then a pair. An open man can't see a blind man, and it will cost you twice the ante to see your opponent. Now don't f around, fellas. You all know the rules, and you know I won't stand for it. My character is named G JD, and this is his bar. He won it in a game of cards with Hatchet Harry, who was one of the villains in the film. And um, my son has played a, a card game with Hatchet Harry and lost more money than he can afford, and Hatchet Harry wants his bar back. There's a sort of vendetta going on, so uh, I'm not very happy. I understand if this has come as a bit of a shock, but let me tell you how this can be resolved by you, the good father. Go on. He likes your bar. Yes. He wants your bar. And? Do you want me to draw you a picture? Look, that boy doesn't know his from his ear hole. This is my bar. It's got nothing to do with him. What, and I care? Remember, you do have the luxurious advantage of being able to sustain your son's life. And you do have a reputation. So I'll choose my words very carefully. I'm definitely a debt collector for uh, Hatchet Harry, but uh, it's not like an aggressive character. He's uh, big because he's more like cool, you know, cool dude, you know, can handle everything. You know, I've got a lot of friends in the East End, and, it, you know, the things that are in this film do happen and can happen. film's real. Watch it. My character's name is Soap. He's one of four guys who gets involved with investing some money in a card game, which goes disastrously wrong, thanks to our lead character, Eddie, who manages to lose all of our money. Oi! Keep your fingers out of my soup. Soap considers himself to be legitimate. He's a chef who works in a restaurant. 
and he earns his money honestly. You know, nothing shady, under the counter stuff, any of that. You know, he's very legitimate. Um, but he's trying to make a fast buck, basically. And so, but it all goes wrong. And then he gets in, involved and embroiled in uh, all the carry-on that goes on afterwards, trying to raise the money to pay back Mr. Big. Have a look at these. And what are we supposed to do with these? Put them on your head, stupid. If you think I'm going to turn up there clean-shaven and greet them with a grin on my face, you've got another thing coming. Now, these fellas, they're your neighbours. I thought it might be a good idea to disguise ourselves a little. Right. Uh, yeah, good thinking, Soap. Mm. Well done. I brought weapons as well. Weapons? What do you mean, weapons? <clears throat> these? Let's keep them covered up, eh? Couldn't you got anything a bit bigger? What? What that? Which thing? I think you need help. You know, I grew up watching gangster films, so to, to actually, you know, it's not Angels with Dirty Faces, put it that way, but to do a film which is around the sort of uh, shady world of. Um, of dodgy dealings is really good fun, but it's got the thing with it is I think it isn't. Although we're mucking about a bit, and it, guys really keeping an eye on that to make sure it doesn't become you know like carry on the craze. Enough already. You two, join me in my office. Seems expensive. Seems. Well, this seems to be a waste of my time. That is 900 nicker in any shop you're lucky enough to find one in, and you're complaining about 200. What school of finance did you study? It's a deal. It's a steal. It's sale of the f***ing century. Golf. The best way to spoil a good walk. Winston Churchill said that. I say it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And I've got bigger teeth than you two. I think that friend is trying to tell us something. Perhaps not. Perhaps I should take another swing just to make sure. Give me a five iron, John. Certainly, dog. Well, dog's sort of. Um, how can I explain it? I think he's sort of. Uh, he's lived on the street and he's incredibly well adapted. Yes, Gordon, is there something you'd like to tell us? His gang. Uh, are not really on the same level as him. He's, the, the, you know, he sort of looks after them. Is that it? How many times do I have to tell you, Plank? You find a job worth doing, you'll find your share improving. 